We are just hours away now from day 26 of the partial government shutdown. It's the longest in U.S. history. For more than three weeks, federal employees have had to stay home unpaid. Earlier today, however, the IRS announced it is recalling 46,000 employees, about 60% of its workforce, to handle tax returns and pay out refunds. That means those workers on furlough will have to return to work but won't be paid. At least not right away. But right now, about 800,000 federal workers are off the job. And as are the more than 4 million contractors who work for the federal government. The shutdown also impacting Space City. Today, dozens of NASA employees rallied outside Johnson Space Center, telling us that they are struggling to make ends meet. Our Keith Garvin joins us live tonight with how local businesses are looking to help these families. Keith? Dominic Bill, we're in Rice Village and the restaurant behind me, D'Amico's Italian Market Cafe, is one of several local re restaurants who are trying to help out and pitch in and help those federal workers who are not receiving paychecks right now. They are offering them free food and they all say they're in it for the long haul. One day at a time, one person at a time. 1,400 miles from the shutdown showdown in Washington, a growing number of local restaurant owners supporting government workers are putting their money where their mouths are by offering free meals to those federal employees not receiving a paycheck. One of those owners is Chen Wang, who runs a pizza shop in Pasadena. I pray this morning and ask what can I do, and I make pizzas every day, and that's what I can do. What Wang is doing is giving a free pizza each day to every government worker until the shutdown ends. The idea is catching steam across the Houston area. I need a pork sausage. At Killen's Barbecue in Pearland, owner Ronnie Killen marinated on the idea of helping local government workers. So this Friday will be the beginning of furlough Fridays. Government workers who show their federal IDs will be given free family packs with brisket, sausage, and potato salad, to name a few items. For Killen, helping is personal. My cousin, he's a TSC agent at Bush, and, you know, I just can't imagine not being paid for, you know, four weeks worth of work. And these and other owners say they will provide their offers until the shutdown is over. For some, in serving free food, they've already received a payoff. It touched their hearts. It touched my heart. Um... I'm just telling them that God be with them all the time, stay strong, and uh, we will get through this together. Yeah, and all the owners we spoke to said that even if the shutdown lasts for several more weeks or even months, that they are all determined to go ahead and continue to provide those free meals. Uh, they say that they are in it for the long haul, and they will be doing that until those employees start getting paid again. Reporting live from Rice Village, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you for sharing, Keith. We do have a running list of other local restaurants offering free food or meal deals for government employees affected by this shutdown. You can find it on the homepage of our website at clicktohouston.com. And should you like your business added to that list, simply email storyideas at kprc.com and we'll be sure to include you.